it's gonna shoot off. What did this, what does that remind you of? You're watching Black Eric D Nice on YouTube. Boy, he's hard as a rock. What up? Guys, let's check out my wrist shops I got from TRQ. I got my front strut from them. They are okay, but they are cheap strut. So I figured um, spider webs. I figure I might well buy cheap shop to go in the back it would be even and i've been meaning to say if you're going to buy struts from trq don't buy them if you plan on keeping the car or if your girlfriend or old woman drive somebody who ain't gonna really notice it if you drive fast won't go around curves do not buy trq they're cheap. Now, I believe they're better than um, Detroit Action. But they're cheap. Pretty? Oh, they damn so pretty. Show it your new hardware. But I still believe they're cheap. I won't be buying no more. But I figure I'll give them a chance to woo me. Alright, so we're gonna um we're gonna start on this left and rear because I wanna take this towel and put it on the right front. And I guess this is going to be a 16. Hope y'all can see right there. The word is gonna fall, hit my damn camera, but it didn't. You know, I started opening up the bed of my damn truck. Okay, I'm like I'm gonna have to use a something. I have entirely too many eight millimeters. This is a six. Five sixteen. Hell, it ain't. It ain't even. It's just gonna have to use a. I don't know. A pair of pliers or something. 
It's not really a socket, it's just flat. It's not really a socket, it's flat. the hell do I hold this? Now that's a... Wait a minute, I'm, I'm confused now. This thing just hit my damn truck. But it hit a spot that already been hit before. Now I wish I need the damn bed down so I work from the truck bed. You know how the factory like to torque every damn thing. Stuff that really don't need torque, and they torque the hell out of it. The hell? Did it slip? I got a turn. I oh, ain't got much room to slip. Getting it off by standing it up like here. And taking a wrench and going around. Well, actually, I went this way. It's almost off now. Well, at least, yeah. That's what I did. And uh, Loctite is not going back on. And I probably should replace this right here. Yeah, I probably should replace this right here. It's pretty damn deteriorated. So I'm just going to cut this off. Or should I go buy a new one? Oh, this is just a bump stop. Yeah, this is just a bump stop. Oh yeah, it'd be all right. Well, I asked my skinny, sexy boy 
Josh Laurent. What do he say? It'll grow back. This is beautiful. Yep. What is it, velvet? The Alcatara. Love to hear a little sex ass set up. Now, is this going to shoot off? What does what does that remind you of? Y'all wanna see it again? And you know what? What does that remind you of? Do you need another hint? All right, so let's put this back on. It's just a bump stop, so. to do is put some WD-40 on this to, you know, get rid of this down. It'll help it go on a little easier. Get rid of the people who always got to put Loctite on every damn thing. It's still a damn interference. And that's the trip part. Alright, so, um, I might be able to hold this now. Let's see. Nope, it's turning. Hopefully I won't damage this down. So I don't put too much weight on it. I don't want to bend the tube. Try not to put too much weight on it. Still, still flipping. Still turning. Guys, I got the bow back on. I'm sorry, I got the bow back on, and it's my fault. I forgot to use the new nut that came with the damn shop. The new nut screwed down far enough on there that I was able to use a little small wrench to get it to go on the rest of the way. Whatever, man. Stuff happens. So I didn't film it putting it on. But I am going to show you this side. And this side is leaking real bad. I mean upside was kind of dry compared to this side but i'll tell you something else the other side was a monroe shop so and it had an audi symbol on it so these were probably the original shops that came on this car probably the original shops so oh well uh, so I'm guessing I'm going to put this side on and I may film me putting the boat on this time. Try it again. Take a screwdriver. Pop this off. And this thing is real weak. Now I see why the car was pogoing. It goes down real easy. My car used to run like that, and I think I know why. 
All right, so let's put some WD-40 on this. And where's my wrench? I thought I was ready. Oh, that's right. I used the um, impact to break it loose. Lock it, Taikiki. Oh, this damn shock is gonna kill me, y'all. That's not gonna work. my damn hand. Whew. People in their damn lock type. People in their damn lock type. Y'all ain't gonna get to see this. I get this to come off. You know, I guess it don't really matter if I break this one off. I ain't really concerned about tearing up this sucker here, so. Ow, mother father. Charge this thing. 